Hi, everybody. Welcome to Paste Studio on the Road. We are live right now at Pam Nation headquarters in New York City with Chloe Moriando. Chloe, thanks for joining us. Hi. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. having me. Yeah, of course. It is lovely to meet you. Thank you for coming and sharing your music with us today. And uh, pre congratulations to you because the deluxe version of Blood Bunny comes out on Friday, so we're going to hear two songs from that. We're also going to hear some dog songs uh, from the uh, the Puppy Love EP, or a dog song from the Puppy Love EP. What do you feel like doing first today? Uh, I'm going to start off with Manta Rays. Uh, it's real special to me. It was one of the singles off of Blood Bunny initially, uh, and it's the first song I ever wrote on guitar, so I think it's pretty fun. It'll be good. Cool. <clears throat> for coming and sharing your music with us today. We appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank Especially you so on Sandwich Between Show Days. It sold out Webster last night, which is amazing. Good that for you, awesome. good for MXM Tune. Yeah. And, uh, and there are, I guess, a couple tickets left tonight. There's low ticket warning, but it's it's on the way to sell out tonight. So well done. Big shows, yeah. No, yeah. Maya's amazing. MXM Tune shows have been so cool and like very energetic. The crowds are always really warm and welcoming. So it's been yeah. really fun. Good, good. I'm glad for you. That's that's a very cool experience. Thank you. And um, we so this that was the first song that you had ever written on guitar. You said, where? How did your songs previous to that song come together? Was it keys? Was it pad pad and paper? How did you do it? Um, I honestly I started playing 
guitar initially but then i like moved to ukulele pretty quickly and i started writing a lot of songs on there um or just like in my notes i didn't really play keys too much i mean i learned when i was little but um i primarily just wrote on ukulele until that song which changed things um in a really fun way for me cool well if you would like a uke reunion there's one sitting. i don't know if you can see it or not but it's right there oh, i can, I can see, see it, it. Oh, it's the right there. Case. Yeah, yeah, right over there oh and there's one right over there too yeah how if cute. the mood strikes, Talk you're welcome to, to grab it. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's sweet. Um, where, uh, of, of the tour dates, um, there, I mean, there's a ton of tour dates. You are very busy and out there on the road. Please travel safely between all of them. Um, are there any that, in best. particular that really stand out to you of uh, shows, shows that you're looking forward to or cities you haven't visited before or anything like that? I think all of them have been really, really fun. I mean, if if we're talking in the grand scheme of things, like just for tours in general in the future, um, I'm, I'm really, I've never been to, like played some like big shows and, or festivals of my own um, like in Germany before. I think that's gonna be really cool. Um, this tour is, is finishing up in Boston, which I'm really excited for because I'm, Boston is always a really sweet city to be in. Um, but I don't know. I, I, <sighs> I find it hard to be super partial to cities because I don't really get too much time in any of them. So I'm just grateful to be traveling and to be going lots of cool places. Yeah. Do you ever, or have you had the experience on this tour where you actually get a moment to absorb the culture of a city and see what it's all about and eat some food and see some people? Or are you primarily experiencing the uh, cities just through through the shows and like the hotel to venue to van? It's. It's mostly through the shows, hotel, venue, van. Um, we try to do fun things sometimes, but we really do our best to be safe, you know, with COVID and everything. We want to yeah. make sure everyone's staying as healthy as possible, just in general. Like, we don't want anyone to be getting sick on tour. It would really suck. Um, and we're on some pretty long tours, so it's kind of, it's difficult at times. We do sometimes get off days where we'll be able to, like, hang out at the, like, hotel pool and then go to, like, a not crowded like place to eat and get something to drink like really close by our hotel it's it's little nice things that make it a really enjoyable experience nice good well and we got to chat a little bit offline about the um about what your your strategy sort of mental health strategy i guess was to you know if you were not necessarily feeling like being the most social people just a uh, person just watch netflix which is awesome that you're <laughs> song is in that particular show can we talk a little bit about heartstopper please i love heartstopper i think it's so sweet i think everyone should give it a watch because i personally have described it uh, a lot to a bunch of different people you earlier and like a bunch of different people that i've spoken to about the show um that it's just a show i would have died for when i was in middle school like i would have needed i wanted it so bad and i didn't have it and um now watching it, it's like just something so light and easy for me to watch, and it reminds me of watching something that I loved in middle school, but it's obviously not nostalgic because it's new, and it's so crazy to me that my song is in it, and it's based off of such a sweet comic that also had my song like in the pages, which I think is so crazy. Um, it's just a really heartwarming show and experience and a lot of people have like tagged me in their really special moments they've had with the comic and with the show um so yeah i just i give it a raving review i think it's really mm. nice <laughs> yeah. yeah it sounds like it had the intended effect and you watched it and then I think came, so too. came out re rejuvenated and uh, yeah it was good you know, ready to play 56 more shows <laughs> <laughs> oh boy yeah um, well, thank you for your time here today. We appreciate it very much. Thank I think you. we're going to hear a second one off of Blood Bunny right now, right? Yeah, I'm going to play the one that's in Heartstopper, actually. It's called I Want to Be With You. Swimming in my t shirts, no matter the weather, you say what you mean. I want to be with you. I see you in the water, straps on your glasses Say what you mean, I wanna be with you I can't take it All I want's right in front of me I can't fake this 
see what you mean I wanna be with you I know my shit's weird And I live in the suburbs And it's almost unnatural How lame I act around you Give me a chance To say what I mean Please do the same I wanna be with you You shut my mouth and you buckle my knees My princess, please, you know it's all I wanna do So I'll get over my head and I'll make my bed Cause darling, you're the one and fuck, I want you Cause darling, you're the one who know I want you You know that you're the one And fuck, I want you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Let us talk about your dog. I want to talk about Sammy. You've got an adorable dog named Sammy. Oh, I and, do. And um, I've seen pictures of your adorable dog, Sammy. Does Sammy travel with you? I wish. Yeah. Oh, God, I wish. He's turning 11 this year. He's blind. Can't see anything. He's the best in the world. He's only a baby to me, but to the rest of the world, he is not. And he does not, unfortunately, act like, um, act very grown when he's traveling either. <laughs> so I can't bring him places, but I wish I could. I love him so dearly. I miss him all the time. Ugh. But being able to sing about him on tour really helps. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I love him so dearly that there's that that the 2020 EP, Puppy Love is is dog inspired. It's not entirely Sammy inspired, right? It's inspired by a, yeah tons of different just dogs in general. The idea yeah. of dogs. Mm -hmm. um, do you um, yeah? Can you tell us a little bit more about how your love for your dog went from just a natural impulse to love furry things into actual artwork that you released into the world? Honestly, Puppy Love kind of fell together. Like I didn't make I didn't write all of these songs with the intent of making a dog themed EP until maybe like two or three were kind of like in a realm where I was like, I'm making a lot of canine motifs. Like this is, this is something I feel like I should run with. And it kind of, it, it was something that I'd wanted to do for a while, but I guess I'd, I'd just been making songs for and hadn't been really collecting into one singular project. So I started writing a couple more. Um, uh, Sammy was a really fun one to write because it was just a sweet song about my dog. Um, but it was also nice to get out like more emotional ones where I could still like have lyrics about my dog or dog related stuff, but kind of dump a little bit in it, you know? It's not a fully like super joyous, like it's a dog EP, but it's also not super sad and, you know, depressing. <laughs> Well, what do you feel like playing from the from Puppy Love? Is it going to be one of the optimistic, fluffy, lovey ones? Is it going to be one of the um, not so much that songs? What do you what do you feel like playing? I won't lie, it's a little sad, <laughs> but 
but it's it's one of my favorites. I really like it. It's really fun for me to play acoustic, and I like performing it. Um, and it's probably one of my favorites off the EP. Uh, it's called Nice Pup. Hope you all like it. It's much worse than my bite But I'm close to bearing my teeth, guys You've left me outside for weeks And I'm tired of sleeping in the rain all night And I'll still curl up at your feet And try to kill you Between my legs and on the floor, but I want more. I want more. I want more. I want more. 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 And I swear my bark is much worse than my bark. Thanks so much for coming by. Have a wonderful show at Webster tonight. Thank and so uh, best of luck on the deluxe release of Blood Bunny that's out on Friday. Um, more to you are busy, busy, so travel safely between all of them and Thank you. I'll uh, do my come best. join us again. We're, we're, we're around the country. On, we're on tour with this thing also. So we'll awesome. love to cross paths with you again in Would love somewhere it. awesome, somewhere. Hell yeah. That'd all be right. really sick. Thank you. See Thanks you so much. Time. See ya. You did it. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.